GeneratorPowerSource.com here for a real world runtime test of the Westinghouse iGen 4500. A lot of these generators advertise runtime at a quarter load, it will last 10 hours. At 50% load, it will last six hours. We want to know what does it actually run. So we are staying in our travel trailer right now. This is a Grand Design Imagine 2670, uh, 26 and a half foot uh, overall with the tongue is 31 foot. And we're going to be living in this. We're going to fill this uh, Westinghouse iGen 4500 up with fuel and see how long can we actually go. We, on a normal basis, we're running uh, laptops, iPhones, TV. In the morning, we might run the electric heater. We're not going to be running the AC much now because it's uh, it's only about 65, 70 degrees right now, so we don't really need the AC. But when we run the furnace in our travel trailer, it does run the fan, so that pulls about four amps. What I'm getting to is we seem to be averaging about five amps on an ongoing basis, whether we're charging charging laptops, running the uh, refrigerator, the TV, the radio, etc. So normally we're averaging about 5 amps, but we want to see how long can we actually go of actual run time on this generator. This is a remote start generator, so we're going to start tonight. I'll shut it off before we go to bed, and first thing in the morning I'll crank it up with the remote start, uh, and that is what's going to power our electric fireplace. So let's go ahead and fuel this baby up. Display. It's telling us our fuel, we're absolutely maxed out. 124 volts that we're putting out right now. Uh, according to this, 19 hours and 35 minutes of one time. Okay, just want to give you a quick rundown of what we are uh, running in our travel trailer. First things first, we always have the electric hot water heater turned on when we're plugged into shore power or we're running a generator. That's going to cycle on and off throughout the day. It's pulling about 11 to 12 amps when it is running. So that is of course going to come on and off throughout the day. We usually always have the TV on, especially in the morning we're watching the news and then again at night we uh, are always watching something. Uh, this morning was really quite cool. You could see I was in my flannel shirt and uh, we would run the electric fireplace for uh, for two and a half hours this morning. We ran it and at the same time we have our recliners going. Uh, so we have heated recliners. The recliners don't draw much but the electric fireplace does draw about uh, 12 and a half amps so it is a pretty good draw for for two and a half hours uh, this morning you saw I checked in with you and showed you why that uh, push button start was so valuable Good morning guys <laughs> it's about 6 in the morning it's 38 degrees I just wanted to show you the true value of a push, push button start on this generator so I just got up and I want to uh, run the electric fireplace here and also crank up the microwave uh, so I can make some coffee um, again, it's 38 degrees, it's still dark outside, and uh, I'm able to go ahead and fire it up right here by grabbing this remote, put it right out the window. I think you should be able to hear that. So now we're running right out, right outside. There goes the microwave, it just beeped on. Uh, there goes my laptop monitor, my extra monitor. Um, the other thing that I can run here is this, uh, so I'll go ahead and start running the, the seat warmer on my recliner there. <clears throat> Most importantly, let's fire this baby up right here. There goes the electric fireplace. You could probably just hear the generator run. Anyways, I wanted to give you a quick update since I got up uh, why that why that push button start is so important on a travel trailer generator. You can see the Westinghouse uh, iGen 4500 right out the window there. So I can uh, just hit the button. And more importantly, I can actually see the uh, the display there on the front so I know how much runtime we have left, how much voltage we're putting out, and uh, I can monitor that, uh, that fuel gauge. Uh, we always have a laptop and uh, phone charging. And then of course I have my setup back here which is another laptop and an external monitor. All this stuff combined doesn't draw a huge amount of, of amps, but it's about two to three amps depending on what's actually running. And always throughout the day we have the refrigerator, especially if we're plugged into uh, shore power or the generator, switched on to AC. This is pulling about four and a four, four to 4.5 amps when it is cycling. Um, so that's a, a decent draw that's coming on and off throughout the day. 
Last and not least is the uh, microwave. The microwave is drawing about 12 and a half amps, but we're only running that for maybe three minutes a day in the morning when we're heating up our coffee. Uh, so it's not a huge draw. This afternoon we did run the AC uh, for about an hour because we had people coming into the uh, to the AC to see us. Uh, so we ran this just to cool it off in here. And this is pulling uh, 14 and a half uh, amps. So it is a, it's a heavy draw and we ran that uh, for an hour so I just want to give you an idea of what our travel trailer looks like so you can make a comparison to yours maybe you're in a huge 40 foot diesel pusher or maybe you're in a 15 foot uh, pop-up camper and you might have less needs more needs than us but at least you have an idea of what we're running on a day-to-day -day basis if you want to know what every one of these items pulls in terms of amps we have a different video where we uh, did a amp and a volt and a decibel reading for every one of these appliances in this travel trailer I'll link to it in the description below, but we'll be back with an updated runtime once this iGen 4500 runs out of fuel All right, we finally reached the end of the road for the Westinghouse iGen 4500 uh, It took about 16 hours to run out of fuel on this generator Westinghouse advertises online 18 hours of runtime at a quarter load We were definitely over uh, a quarter load on this and still went 16 hours so pretty impressive just so you have an idea of what we we're running even though we took you on the inside we ran the electric fireplace for uh, at least two hours in the morning when it was really cold I'll even splice that in because it was so nice to be able to wake up in the morning and it's freezing in the travel trailer be able to push that button out the window of the travel trailer and get this thing running so I could run that electric fireplace as well as a microwave to heat up some coffee so uh, absolutely fantastic and then in the afternoon uh, we even cracked on the AC a little bit because once the sun starts beating down on this travel trailer in Florida it can get quite warm in there especially if you want to invite people in to show the travel trailer too so uh, we cranked on the AC for for at least an hour in the afternoon in Florida uh, although ambient temperatures are only like 75 and the AC is only pulling about 14 and a half amps it's nice to be able to uh, to crank that on so again 16 hours of runtime if you want to see the specifics of every appliance we have a full video of that with the 4500 running uh, on generatorpowersource.com. Thanks so much again for watching. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back next time with more video reviews.